Hello everyone, my name is Ramat and today we're going to do a tutorial on Wukong on mid lane but we're going to talk about top lane as well. So this is a Wukong guide and how to play Wukong and carry yourself in season 10. And we're going to start with everything that we need, we're going for summoner spells, runes, builds, everything else. We covered the 12 well, things that we need to actually play well. And escaped it's fine yeah so let's start with runes very quick i played conqueror triumph legend alex recap the grace biscuit delivery time or tonic and this rune stats i'm against a senna with barrier and i'm playing on mid lane but you can play on top lane as well i'm generally playing with ignite but you're interested in getting teleport if you're a beginner and you can also swap these secondary runes for bone plating or domination whatever makes you feel best but these are generally conqueror legend alex recap the grace Maybe this one will replace with Tenacity, these are kind of the best that you can play with. For items, I'm starting with Corrupting Potion on mid lane, and on top lane I'm starting generally with Doran's Blade, but on top lane you have to be careful, because if you die to a gank, uh, then you don't have Teleport, so you have to be more careful when actually fighting the target. So when you fight, you gotta get the kill. Now, I did not start with E by accident, <laughs> I should have started with E, so I'm gonna play, I'm gonna play a little more safe first level I'm just gonna let her do her thing and I'm gonna get poked a bit but it's fine okay got it she gets me in an aggro it's fine now for items again I recommend I don't okay let's get her flash off okay flash and barrier now it's level two that's a free kill for me I did not did not expect I got the kill. I don't even need to flash on that one. Well, I did not ask for camp or anything, I guess he just wanted the free kill there. And I'm not even recalling, I don't have to. I'll just kill her next time, I'm gonna push here. So, ah, uh, these are outside of the range, okay, that's a bad thing for us. But she's gonna lose some minions. So, for items, let's talk a little about items. On top lane, besides the fact that you gotta be careful when you use that ignite, Level three, because there is there is a nocturne. Besides the fact that you gotta be careful with that ignite, you gotta understand when you have to fight and how you have to fight. Because uh, if you engage and you don't win the trade with the ignite, then the opponent most likely will have teleport, and so they are going to win it after that. Or if you get ganked, so if you die to a gank on top lane, it's mainly your fault because you didn't play safe enough when you're playing with ignite. And now let's talk again about items, that's what I wanted to do before. I'm just merrily farming here a bit. She has a CS advantage, but I'm gonna get it back to her now. Careful, okay. Ah, gone. I was pushed, I thought he backed off there, that's why I didn't look. But that's my mistake. I'm gonna, I'm gonna kill her anyway. Uh, again, items. I generally like to play with Blade of the Red King on top lane because there are lots of tanks. That's the first item. But lots of people like to play with Trinity Force first or Tiamat. Uh, you gotta get some combination of those items. And generally getting sooner or later that's dense, it's a good idea. So here we can actually do this. I'm gonna let her auto attack my clone once. I do not have my clone, so whenever you don't have your W, you can play a little bit more defensive. I don't care really about the poke that she does. I can just engage on her whenever I have my Q and get the kill now. Got nothing. Okay, this is a good moment. And I'm gonna get another kill here. Yep, that went well. Uh, I just had to do that because I did that later than faster because I wanted her to lose as much as much CS as possible so that. Uh, the wave crashes into her tower and she loses lots of CS. So that was the logic. See? Now, I'll be ahead with lots of CS and she's going to lose even a cannon. She's going to lose probably more here and that's fine. I'm going Tiamat because I want... Or should I? I want to go... I don't want to go Blade of Trinity King into a non-tank, so I'm going Tiamat. Now that dive was bad. 
but it's fine we're going to be able to carry it eventually i don't know why malphite didn't recall here and so itemization a, a good idea would be uh, on top lane blade of the runiate king trinity force into death's dance and ga boots obviously get boots uh, armor boots magic resist boots even mobbies if you want to roam a lot but i want to go for the tiamat here to have an extra active and some push some push power because i want to roam with my ult so that would be the logic behind it and let's talk about the micro and the abilities of this champion now with the rework uh, level six i'm gonna show you a little trick before that uh that you can do on talon and on other champions as well i just wanna just wanna clear these two cs out okay so whenever you want to ah, i'm gonna clear the way first whenever you want to engage i'm gonna always w after that whenever you want to engage on her uh, you can just back off out of vision and then uh, all in her because this is very simple to execute most of the time they will not never word and you can just go around here you can fake roam as i do here i am actually wording deeply and i'm actually probably gonna get the kill if i dive there but i don't want to do so and i need to be careful okay i do have complete vision around this side of the map and now if i go here and just full combo her And that's probably worth it. That's probably worth it. Yep. Ah, but I'm not reaching that. Well, this scene makes it so simple for me because I could have killed her before without her wasting flash and so. But now it's just I'm just gonna roll on him. And here I can actually get the kill this is a good roam opportunity for us because they do not have any vision and nocturne i'm just gonna be on par with nocturne right here i think he flashed oh never mind to see okay so we get we get the kill on that okay Okay, got another kill there. Uh, gonna ignite her. And right, we got all the three kills there. That went fine. I did not have... I did not actually have a flash, so that's why it went like that. But I got a triple, I do double, sorry. And it went fine, really. And I now I have to push so that Vayne loses yes. So in terms of micro, always do that. Okay, so I'm recalling and I'm going finishing I'm not finishing this item I am going for three fours now because it's a very good item into assassins and into squishies and into champions like that also going to get some armor here because most of them are AD besides uh, Zilan so for her ab for uh, abilities on Wukong after his rework his uh, Q now his uh, all his abilities you probably know them but his ultimate now can be cast twice that's the main thing and his W now uh, does a small dash I don't think you can offer worlds I tried it lots of times and I haven't managed to do so and I say that you should try blade of the Red king because his Q cooldown actually gets reduced by every auto attack and so that's a fairly important thing to notice and to consider now I don't want to let her get too close to the minions if I can go close to her I will and we lost the trick, so I'm gonna ping that Nocturne is going ultimate bot now because he's probably 6. If he comes mid, I'm just gonna get the kill. It's not that dumb though. Now, I also recommend for you to buy a vision ward. Yep, they are probably. Rockshore is certainly bot, so I'm coming bot now. And I'm trying to get a kill here. Okay. It's fine. That went well for us. They just backed off in time. And that's a vision ward right there. Gonna get. Yeah, now I have flash, and I know that their champion does not. So whenever you do that, uh, I think they have. Yep. And 
just gonna get poked here, I don't care. Uh, the main fun thing about Wukong, besides the fact that you can assassinate pretty much everyone later on, uh, Mr. Cannon, is that in lane you can win very easily the trades and in lane you can do very much uh, damage towards the enemy. I can even 2 versus 1 here, mostly, so just worth it there. And we're going all in. Okay. Ah, my god. Okay. I'm just gonna bait them. I'm just gonna stay here. I think I think this is going to work. Maybe Renekton is coming, but I do have flash. <laughs> yeah, this worked. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this, this certainly worked. Okay. <laughs> ah, yes. That's how you play it. The long run, the long bait. So, basically, on lane, you want to win all the trades, so that's why I'm playing with Ignite. Uh, Renek uh, sorry, Wukong is very strong right now in 1 versus 1, so you can defeat most matchups. Just be careful of the classic top laner matchups that can be difficult. I don't know, Eloy, and Irelia maybe. And you should, you should understand that those matchups can be crucial, but generally you should win most of those stuff in 1 versus 1. I'm gonna recall here and I'm gonna get 3 fours. Uh, I need 100 more gold though. Okay. Um, so I need one more CS. Alright. One more! Jesus, that's so much. I'm gonna get the small ones from here. I'm gonna get the whole camp actually, because Xen is top. I'm gonna do this. Okay, I can just recall now, back off, back off, because she's missing, yeah, so having 3 force enables your main combos, that being E into Q, into Ignite, into Alt, into Close Alt, maybe another Q, if the cooldown comes back, it should come back, if you have Blade of the King, and then Alt again, maybe use Tiamat if you're playing with it, so you make your own combos if you have Tiamat, Blade of Ranking, those items, you make your own combos because you have to use this item every time you engage, right? And so on the micro part, this is what you should generally do in order to assassinate people. Now you can also trick a lot of people like this. So you just put this, she had a word there probably, or she's seen the clone. But you can actually come from out of vision like Talon and do lots of nasty, nasty engages and you can also destroy the enemy jungler as much on Pantheon as on this. And I'm backing off here. I'm showing up on mid, so that so that Nocturne is gonna show up there. That's why I... What are you doing? Yep, he's dead. That's why I actually did that, because if I wouldn't show up on mid, now Nocturne would have thought, okay, he's definitely on my red, but then seeing me there probably he wouldn't expect the okay i'm seeing this and i'm gonna take this tower first tower right here i cannot reach that and i'm not sure what happens there probably what if i didn't even get the damage why did you back off there what are you doing i'm getting first tower yeah i'm coming i'm going there i mean he's having 150 armor <laughs> This is actually fairly dumb. Alright. And I do not have... Okay. He ulted. I'm gonna heal up a bit. He uses W on the clone though. You can bait out a lot of skills by the way like that. Okay, so you get another kill there. 
that goes very well in my favor and so you can see how am i doing those combos and how i'm trading you have to bait out major abilities such as renekton stun on the clone because if you time it right most of the champions in especially in lower elos will use their main cc ability or the main if ramos jumps on you in lower elo let's say he comes straight at you if you w the moment he taunts you it, the moment he stuns you with his q then he's gonna certainly uh, do it on the clone i vouch for that because in lower elos it always happens and now i want to be a little more tanky so i'm going for uh that's dance because it's an extremely strong item you're sort of assassin bruiser with wukong especially if you're ahead as i am right here I got a lot of help from my Xen, I don't want to deny that, but in most games you should be able to actually 1 versus 1 the enemy target, especially if you have your Ignite. Especially at level 2, Wukong has main, maybe one of the best level 2 in the game. So that's how you play Wukong, that's how you do the micro, and on the macro you can just roll, and you can find objectives, use your ult properly, and kill the targets there, and then move towards, uh, always move to, towards their mid and ADC, that's what you should aim for. That should be your main targets, right? So you uh, jump with EQ on the ADC, then if you kill him fast, you move towards the mid laner and cast your ult once to stun up the people, cast it twice. Also try to use your clone after you engage. So EQ, flash EQ on their ADC, ult, ult once. You're gonna get all the damage on top of your head and then W out, move a little bit around until your team follows up in the stealth, two seconds. And then reposition yourself as such to ult again their ADC and to do another Q and instantly murder him. Or catch their mid laner after you kill that or the support. Someone who's close to you, you can actually do a lot, a lot of things on this champion compared to others. You're also quite tanky, especially after Death's Dance. And you should consider that. Do not get baited by top laners with teleport into fighting with them and do not waste your ignite in lane. Do not do bad plays in terms of that because if they can bait you and their jungler waits for you, you're gonna lose a lot. So you have to, if you play with Ignite on top lane, you have to have special macro, okay? On mid lane is quite safe against most champions besides Vagar, Syndra, Alessandra, because those are the CC, heavy CC champions, which you cannot dash through because they have those CC spells. And that's about it. You gotta understand how to do all these things combined, all these tips, and you're gonna have great success with it. I'm pretty certain that if you practice in normals, you're gonna do just fine. I'm Jumat and I really hope you enjoyed this Wukong guide guys, see you next time, goodbye.